is a, this is a split rail ski, and it's a, it's a split ski. It's got two rails, two separate rails on each side. And the first thing you notice is it doesn't have a keel that's pointing down uh, from the center. It basically runs as a flat bottom uh, ski. And so what that means is that without the keel there, there's nothing for the ski to sink down into when you're driving straight. Uh, so there's no way for the ski to dart at all. It actually planes up over the top of everyone else's tracks and will never sink back down into, into any other tracks that are there, so it'll just keep tracking straight and true. Without that protrusion from the keel pointing down, there's no resistance to actually turn the ski anymore. So actually cut your steering effort in half with the ski. Uh, so you get nice and light steering with it. The other thing that it does is, because there's no keel on it, it needs some way to turn. And how we get it to do that is with that split down the center. So as you start turning the ski, it drops its flotation as it releases snow pressure. And the more you turn, the more pressure is released, the harder it drops in the snow, the more bite you get. So the more you turn, the harder the ski digs in and the more it rails around the corner. Hmm. So what you get is an extremely aggressive ski that's really light to steer, that doesn't hunt and doesn't dart, which no one else in the market does. The other thing that we do is we push the weight of the sled to the outside of the rails, so we stop the high siding or inside ski lift, especially on the uh, Polaris Pro Rides and the Polaris Axis chassis. It keeps them right flat down the trail and it just changes that sled around completely. Uh, the ski flexes from tip to tail, uh, each rail, rail individually from, its, from each other. And so what it does is it gives the ski a real constant uh, contact with the trail. So you always have the same amount of bite no matter what the conditions are. If it's a hard setup trail, it's going to react the same as if the trail's beat up and sugary and, and chopped up. So you always get that crisp, clean, precision handling that everyone wants. Oh, I can see how when you're riding, if there's no deep keel, a lot of times after you come out in the morning, somebody's gone through there, left a big keel mark in that snow, it's hardened up, and you grab it and it just sort of train tracks here, rails yeah. here more or less, right? Exactly. Like so, so that keel, when you have a keel on a ski, it acts like a knife edge. So as you drive straight, it causes drag, which pulls the ski down in the snow further. And when that happens, that keel's got to, it's going to want to find the least amount of resistance to go through the snow, the easiest path through the snow. So what it's looking for, it's looking for soft or low spots in the snow, which is, you know, the harder pack it'll try to avoid, and then it eventually hooks onto someone else's track that they made, and then you start darting as it follows it. Now, how would this work in the powder? Uh, so it's a good question. We get that asked that a lot. So it, it really depends on the sled setup. If you have uh, a sled that's set up to go on and off trail, so you're running a bit bigger track, like an inch and a half and up, uh, because it has no keel on it, it's got no drag, and because we have that slight uh, tunnel design on the rails, it actually cleans up the ski really quickly. And what you notice as soon as you start trying to carve in the powder is that the ski wants to go where it's pointed, so it actually pulls the front of the sled up. So you'll notice your line's getting really tight and really accurate. So it's, it's really a lot of fun to carve in the powder because you start doing lines that you've never done before. Hmm. Uh, it, it actually works quite well off trail. Now, I see that, like, do you have to buy this spindle as well? Does this come with it? When you, yeah, so when you buy the setup, it comes with that spindle. So when you pull it out of the box, it's set up basically the way you see it. Uh, you just have to put your carbides that you want onto it and uh, set it on the sled and away you go. Uh, oh. and so those are specific to each sled. Right. So. Whatever sled you have, it's going to fit. That one fits the rev. So from 03 to 07, that, that guy's going to go on the revs. And then you know, up to the Polaris and the Nitros and the, the new 15 uh, Skidoo's. So what kind of feedback do you get uh, from your customers that are coming through? Instantly, the, uh, from the guys in the show, uh, the first feedback we get from guys that have never seen it before, they stare and point at it and say, what did you guys do to that ski? And then you explain it to them. And like, it makes sense. And usually right in the middle of explaining it, a customer that already has it will show up and you're like, yep, that's the best ski, that is it. That's yeah. what you have to have right now. And uh, and the guys that have already had it, that bought their new sleds, they're coming to get their, their new skis this year. you got to love the passion of the snowmobiler, right? Oh, yeah. They'll they'll do anything to get that sled to dial, dial yeah. into where they want it. So. Yeah. Now, what's retail on something like this? Uh, so revs, uh, rev sets, we actually start at $399 uh, for, the, for that older sled. And then uh, it goes up to... The newer sleds in the silver spindle is $7.99, and then the, the black customized spindles, those are $9.99 for that set. Plus your carbides. What kind of warranty? Any kind of uh, warranty? We've got a one-year warranty on it. Uh, we also have our uh, money-back guarantee. And so what that is, is you get to ride it up until January 15th of this year on your own sled in your own time. If you don't like it, you send it back for a refund. You get any refunds? You get any, get any returns? No. Well, very good. Well, thank you very much. Perfect. And uh, all the best in the future yeah, for you. Yeah, thanks, dude. We're going to get a set on one of your sleds for there, so... Yeah, I want to try some. Yeah, try them out in the powder. Give me some feedback. Actually, that would be the, where I'd want to try it.